What's up guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Today we're going to go over the patch teaser for this week, but before we do that, I want to thank supporters of this channel. You guys help keep these videos going, so thank you so much for the support. If you want to help, you can do so by subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, liking or disliking this video, and hitting that bell icon. Bell is good, so please ding the bell to get notified when I upload the next video. So ending this maintenance, we have Mysteries of Summer, the Lion's Trial ending, Leighton Strikes, the event where Leighton would just pop up, uh, seemingly randomly, so random that I think most of the latents I saw were from autopathing. So unfortunately, not not super great. A lot of people were complaining about this, like you're grinding, you're not really seeing many latents, but when you're autopathing to Velia or Heidel or whatever, you see latent spawns or latents AFK because of horse riders. Tavala Enhancement Aid is also ending. This is the one that gave you refined stones. It wasn't that good. So not really a huge loss. Level up your Hashashin to 55. That is important if you haven't already. You have until tonight to get your hash to 55. Not very difficult to do. Level up your season character to 55 if you are just coming back and you're starting a seasons character. Make sure to get that to 55. Also not very difficult to do. Just a couple hours if you just do the main story quest. Mercenaries Challenge is also ending. That's the season daily XP buff to help you level. So if you need some more help leveling, there you go. The Mercenary Challenge is available for you one more day. And then starting this week, we have Garment's Nest Map that's going to be added to the RBF. Again, with a new mode, but the mode was changed from the video I made. If you want to take a look at what it looks like and the general gist of it, you can look at my uh, Garment's Nest RBF map video that I have on my channel. I'll have a link to it in the description and also in the pinned comment. Now, Season Servers RBF is also going to be a thing. Uh, I don't think this is huge, but it's good for people that are doing season characters and maybe because we don't have early graduation still. Um, are stuck in seasons they can do something now with rbf at least i don't think it's what people want in general but hopefully we find out more information about early graduation as far as i know cacao has no information and perlibus is saying nothing so we're kind of in limbo at the moment craft aliens tier and crystal extraction tool that's a loyalties uh, crafting they're gonna add these quests from now on that are allow you to get usually loyalties stuff through questing which is good so the first two are going to be aliens tier for us and crystal extraction tool that's very good save you a little bit of money if you need to extract some crystals the event conquer red battlefield is going to be starting we don't know exactly what that is it's probably to get more people into rbf although some days i see no people in rbf and then some days i see a lot of people in rbf so it's kind of like hit or miss how it goes and then we of course have the huge pve class balance incoming tomorrow i'll have a full detail of what they are they're already out from test server a couple of weeks back uh, but basically all the awakening classes are getting some sort of pve buff in some cases for guardian they're not getting a pve buff but they're getting some guardian uh, succession changes or uh, faster animations in that regard for, for the most part you can think of it as a pve awakening buff for all awakening classes and then next week we should be seeing the overall pvp awakening buff again maintenance starts at 4 a.m eastern u.s time and 10 a.m central europe time so keep that in mind next week we will not have a patch so this means that pvp awakening buff that we were supposed to get next week um, we're probably gonna have to wait another week on top of that so unfortunate i don't know what this means also about early graduation if you were expecting it to get uh, early grad next week it's probably also not going to happen but again i don't know we're in limbo at the moment i also don't know why we don't have maintenance next week but that's just how it goes and that's pretty much it for this video guys let me know what you think about the new events coming let me know what you think about early graduation still not being in the game does it affect you do you care let me know in the comments and as always guys thanks again for watching thanks for listening i'll see you you all in the next one. Take care.